Hey guys, this is Mainak, your civil bro. So today we'll do the foundation design in RCDC software. So for that, we need a fully designed model in Stat Pro. As you can see here, we have this model in Stat Pro and we're going to design the file foundation of this in RCDC. So for designing the foundation in RCDC, first of all, you need to design the columns also in RCDC. So we'll design the columns first and then we'll design the uh, foundation that is more specific, the file foundation or the file caps. Okay, so we'll just uh, close this. And uh, then we'll open, you know, RCDC software. So once you open RCDC software, we'll just open the particular file. Okay. So just accept, and uh, then you can just give any thing here, and then just select the particular file. So we're just going to select the particular file, stat file, and click on open it. And first of all, we'll do columns because we need loads of the accurate loads of the columns create new project. So this mistake uh, I should not do. First, you should design the columns, then design the foundation, uh, be it deep or any type of foundation, right? Okay, so we are done here. And uh, so we'll quickly go to settings, design settings. And uh, here you can see, just click on ductile design. We want ductile design in this particular project. And then click on OK. Go to settings once again, reinforcement settings. Uh, 12 is good, but maximum bar we need 25, right? This is OK and click on OK. And then go to this uh, mm, you know, zone bar. This are, these are good basic load cases. And uh, this is our seismic load in X direction, earthquake X, earthquake Z, dead load, live load. And then just uh, select all the load cases by pressing control and then take it in this direction, okay. Load cases, uh, we'll just uh, for regular structure, import it and then okay. So, so then uh, go uh, simply to, you can select design and photo design or then simply click on this, okay. So just uh, click on the design. Some columns are failing, as you can see. First of all, I'll just save the file. And uh, in this particular folder, and we'll do here, uh, MRC DC column design RCDC file, right? So then click on save. Okay, then click on save and then we'll do. First of all, I can see this is FP415, but we need to do this as a uh, FE550. So uh, we need to resign. And uh, here in this uh, redesign uh, thing, you can see uh, what are the options we have uh, been given here. You can see M25 is good. This is FP500. This is FP500. And then uh, this is the design. And then accept. So this is FP500. Like this, you need to uh, do for all and make this uh, things pass. So I'm just uh, giving another example here. Uh, this is already passed. So I'll just do this first of all, redesign section. And uh, here, okay, not redesign section here. I'll just close this uh, and go here, the design column, right? Design column. So this is past equal equal and just change this as FP500, right? Because our project requirement is that we're using FP500, but now FP550 is available, but we're using FP500. So doing this and then the design and then accept, right? So this is, uh, this is done. And for you know other thing members which are failing, for example, so suppose C10, right click and uh, redesign column. And uh, here, first of all, we'll do FP500. And then beam steel also do FP500. And then click on redesign. So it is failing at some levels. So we just need to increase the you know sections. Unlock 
and then increase the sections here breadth and depth so both the things will do uh, 500 into 500 right and then click on this and then uh, only once we are done this also right click and uh, do this as 500 and 500 same will be on all the levels and this also 500 and 500 then click on redesign still it is failing at some levels so we need to <laughs> make this uh, you know column pass so uh, to have a better idea you can always uh, use the you know uh, layout diagram first of all just uh, this thing let me go first uh, unlock and then here let's do here 600 into 600 600 600 600 and then 600 and then click on redesign so now it is passing reinforcement 16 bars of 12 women 12 16 so it is okay and we'll click on accept so like this uh, we can make all the columns safe so one by one i'll make all the columns safe or not waste time this is the process let me make all the columns safe, then we'll come back so one by one i uh, made all the columns safe uh, is the same procedure as you can see uh, there and uh, then you can uh, generate all the uh, reports required reports you can generate and uh, first of all control plus s and save all the data which you have uh, made and then first of all uh, go for the schedule ductile schedule obviously this project requires ductile design and uh, we'll save these drawings one by one so first of all it will come as the uh, uh, column uh, this will come as the you know column uh, your schedule right this column schedule and then we'll go next report and it will be detailed drawing for all the columns so this will be the column sections right so just save this as your column sections and then go here you have the column sections only right and then go for the next uh, thing uh, which is your uh, design calculation so for us submitting uh, i can you have to check the design calculations Once you click on this, it will be generated in some time for all the columns. We want the design calculations. So in the design calculations, you can see this all this loads, seismic loads, seismic loads, and the you can see here. For all the loads and things dead load live load these things have been done okay so uh you can save this control plus p and then click on print do it again control plus p and then uh, just uh, click on print here and uh, here, just save this as our column design calculations, right? Save this file. And another important file we need to save, it is this one. You can see this one. You need to save this, save column layout right just save this file and this is done now we can just save the rcdc file once again
So uh, make, making sure that you save this uh, file properly. Go to file, save. Make sure you save this file you know, properly. And after that, just to close the file. And after that, we just open uh, CTC once again. And this time we'll design the file function. Accept and uh, then not just do this. Open the file, start file, and then file cap, new project. A file. I import column data. The RCDC column file, which is very important. Click on OK. Uh, this is done and file. And uh, you know, after that, you just uh, go to general settings and you change the settings you want. FP500 and uh, file diameter. And okay, this will change after some time. First of all, we will file capacity. And as for the soil test report, we give this file capacity 500 mm and uh, 412, 412, and 200. This will find in the soil test report. As per this project, this is the data. So just click on OK and go to settings. Then you can just change things 500 and um, file diameter 500 and uh, uh, you have this uh, existing groups two also two three four five six possible file numbers and uh, then you can just click on if you want to just increase the cover top side cover for the bottom set everything is a uh, fifty you can increase you can do that and then you just uh, click on okay. So after that, you can go to reinforcement settings. Reinforcement settings is by default. And uh, maximum steel, maximum min steel. Uh, maximum steel, we yeah, have this 25 and then click on OK. Settings and uh, you have this, this is not required. Basic load cases, then go to same thing. Uh, earthquake X and uh, earthquake Z, dead load, live load. Control and then select all this and go to this and click on OK. And then uh, just import for regular structure sizing. This will be unfactored load combination. Import for regular structures. Click on OK. And after that, after this is done, then just uh, go to uh, your design file configuration. Let's see, this is the file configuration which we found out. And uh, after that, after this file configuration, just you can see this is the file configuration and click on this, the file cap will be designed like that. So the file cap uh, has been designed as you can see here. So once the file cap has been designed, just uh, go and save the file first. So it will be column design RCPC file, this will be named as file design RCC file, RCDC file. So after that, uh, just make sure you get the relevant re uh, reports, file layout. This is the file layout. Okay, and uh, save this file. File layout. Reports, then text schedule, vertical schedule. Save this file schedule. Reports, detailed drawing, all file cap, both the sections. Take some time, both section details. So just save this file section details and save this. Okay, reports and then uh, you have 
design calculations all file cap and then click on ok then click on control plus p print so this will be file cap design calculations okay so once this is uh, done the file cap has been designed so this is the procedure for designing the file cap make sure uh, you practice well and keep learning bye bye